Electromagnetic fields of the earth, the Schumann resonance, ley lines, all mysterious forces of nature. All ley lines lead to the planetary grid. Did you even know that we had a planetary grid? Did you notice that in the little movie clip that I showed you from the movie Geostorm that just came out in October? Why would they be showing us a planetary grid as the spaceship is coming back in from the space station that just blew up? And why would they be showing us this planetary grid just floating, hovering above the dome around the Earth? Why would that be? The primary light and energy matrix creating, enveloping, and maintaining our earth are ley lines. They are so important. Ancient civilizations have known about these ley lines, these electromagnetic lines that literally do emit energy. Giant's graves are megalithic gallery graves that were used during the Bronze Age. The tombs are made of a central still, a stone or wooden slab which has a hole cut into it that functions as the entrance. I visited a site in Obia, Sardinia, which is part of Italy, and it was on a ley line. And I just wanted to share with you my own experiences of the energy that these ley lines actually do possess. Wow, oh, you can feel cool air coming through. That is so strange. How hot do you think it is? Like 100 today? 96? 95.3. 95 and you can feel the cold air coming through here. Yeah, oh my gosh. And this was the whole of the afterlife. The main cold cross over there. A year and a half. Uh -huh. Tall stone lines up perfectly between these two huge rock formations and the big tall mountain rock. Wow. Ancient civilizations have known about these energy lines, these electromagnetic lines, for thousands of years. The Native Americans, they refer to them as spirit lines, and in Europe, the Druids called them mystical lines. In Eastern countries and in Wales, they referred to them as dragon lines, and in Australia, the Aboriginal people called them dream lines. And where did they get all this information about these lines 
from the sky gods. All of the literature, all of the mythology, all of the legends, the sky gods gave them the information about the spirit, mystical dragon and dream lines. But if they knew all of this information way back then, why don't we know it now? Why aren't we building on these sites? Or are we? So is there a correlation between these electromagnetic energy ley lines spanning all around the earth and the strange booms and trumpet-like noises that we have been hearing around the world? What the National Weather Service had to say, loud boom heard, we do not see anything in kid indicating large fire smoke or on radar or satellite, nothing on USGS indicating an earthquake. We don't have an answer and can only hypothesize with you. Sonic boom from aircraft, meteorite with current Leonid shower. So this is very interesting, folks. This sounds like it was heard over quite an extensive area in Alabama, and yet um, we don't know what caused it. Stuart Eves is the leading mission concepts engineer at SSTL, a satellite company. And he first started studying uh, eclipses, looking at the shadow bands that have been observed for decades, actually hundreds of years. And they travel across the ground before and after solar eclipses. When he started taking a closer look into this phenomena, he started also realizing that sonic booms were heard during solar eclipses. As the eclipse shadow moves through the atmosphere, there's a sudden disappearance of the sun, and this sudden change in temperature results in this loud sonic boom that we're hearing. It is a rapid cooling of air, and it's a sudden difference of pressure. And this potential energy is associated with this pressure difference. It escapes as high intensity infrasound. So could these mystery booms be due to the sudden pressure difference occurring in our atmosphere due to the flickering of the sun that is being seen globally? It's flashing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. I am not adjusting that. That is the sun flashing. <gasps> oh my God. Now to take a closer look at the Schumann resonance frequency. For many years, the Schumann resonance frequency has hovered at a steady 7.83 Hertz with only slight variations. In June 2014, that changed. Monitors at the Russian Space Observing System showed a sudden spike in activity to around 8.5 Hertz. Since then, they have recorded days where the Schumann accelerated as fast as 16.5 Hertz. The following graph shows the Schumann resonance's power. And as you can see, it is consistently, this is looking at from January to June 12th, it is consistently above 7.83. The spikes are amazingly high. And these are in, I believe, six different countries that are participating. It is updated every hour, and I'll include the link. Humans are synced to the same frequency. So as the Earth undergoes these spikes or increases in this resonance frequency, humans undergo the same spike because we are in tune with the Earth. sounds that were being heard in the skies across Britain have now spread to major cities across the world. Something that started off as a couple of isolated incidents has now become a worldwide affair. Scientists are calling it a global phenomenon as they still don't yet have an explanation for what is causing the sounds. What's causing the strange sounds that are being heard around the world? Oh, it's
a sound, it's been associated with concepts of cosmic sound. It's also known as a mystical syllable or an affirmation to something divine. The syllable Om is first mentioned in the Upanishads, the mystical text associated with the Vedanta philosophy. Cymatics is the science of sound made visible. It comes from the Greek word kyma, meaning wave. Stationary terrestrial waves, also known as standing waves, indicates that despite its vast extent, the entire planet can be thrown into resonant vibration. Vibration can manipulate water and even solids. Sinkholes are common where the rock below the land surface is limestone or other carbonate rock, salt beds, or in other soluble rocks such as gypsum that can be dissolved naturally by circulating water. In the ancient mystery school of Egypt, Athens, and Rome, sound was understood to be the fundamental creative force of the universe. The very shape of the pyramid is an amplified receiver or resonator of various kinds of energy fields, such as electromagnetic waves, cosmic rays, electrical discharges, and gravitational waves surrounding the Earth. Throughout history, ancient monuments have been constructed along an invisible line spanning around the Earth the distance of 25,000 miles and there is an astonishing accuracy to this alignment. Not coincidentally, the distances between all of these sites all equal the same when multiplied by the golden ratio. But that's possible that they are all so precise they are that way for a reason, and if they're natural amplifiers and resonators, then maybe they are there to help the Earth. I know I've just given you a lot of information, but think about it. Really think about what could be causing all of these strange phenomena that we're seeing now. Our entire biological system, the brain and the earth itself, work on the same frequencies. Thank you for watching and much love to you all.